to my channel. So today, as you can probably tell by the state of my hair, we're getting into another wash day, but today is going to be another little bit of an experimentation, y'all. We're about to try Pattern Beauty for the third time. I have been trying to love this brand, but for some reason, the products, especially like the styling products and the gels, they just don't work well for my curls. They just haven't done my wash and goes justice at all. So instead of a wash and go today, we're actually gonna be getting into a twist out. And I did receive a couple of their more recent product launches. So I'm starting this off unbiased, okay? I, I have new high hopes again for this brand. I hope it's gonna come out good. And yeah. So I did receive a couple of their newer launches. So I have their clarifying shampoo and styling custards for definition and shine. Um, both of these are like paraben free, free of SLS, SLES, color safe, silicone free, flotate free, formaldehyde free. So all the freeze, which is good. I also have their treatment mask. When I tried this, I actually did enjoy this. It was sometime last year when I was getting my protective styles. I used this to kind of bring my hair back to life when I was taking out a protective style. So I'm gonna use it today to see how it is just like with my regular curls. And then I also want to use their jojoba oil blend for, it says it's for hair and scalp. I'll probably just use it for my hair, but yeah. Like I said, I have high hopes, so let's get into it. All right, y'all, let's do this. So, first up is the shampoo. The things I look for in a good shampoo. I like a good mix between deeply cleansing, but also moisturizing. Y'all know I also like to detangle my hair with shampoo, so if it's like easiest to detangle with the shampoo as well, great. Also smell, let's actually give this a smell. I mean, obviously for any kind of cleansing product, you want it to smell good, so. I don't even, oh. <laughs> the plastics on. Ooh, that actually smells nice. It just smells nice and fresh and clean. Like it's not fragranced with, I don't know, it's not like fruity or anything like that. It just smells nice and clean. Kind of like the uh, shampoo smell at the hairdresser. So, so far that gets a tick for me. Let's see how it works. My gosh. First of all, I have to say, truly love the smell. It smells so nice and fresh. But also, I just, so I just finished this first section and my hair, as it was washing out, my hair feels so nice and soft. It doesn't feel stripped or anything, but it also at the same time still feels very deeply cleansed. Also with detangling, felt amazing as well. Oh my God, so far so good. With the shampoo, like I'm liking it. Like I'm actually surprised by how easy it is to detangle my hair right now. The foam of the shampoo feels so luxurious. I actually love this. I was worried that I was gonna be like, okay, meh, basic shampoo, it's whatever, it gets the job done. But I'm actually really, really impressed and like really, really liking it. So much so that I'm like, this might need to take a spot on my bathroom shelves. Like the products that live in my shower, that's how you know it's like real, right? And I'm kind of feeling like this is amazing. This feels, my hair feels really good. I also did much bigger sections today because I do not have time to be here detangling and washing and doing my hair all day. A girl's got things to do. And it's still, even with this big section, you can see I still have the knots, but it is just kind of gliding through. Look at that. This is very exciting. Okay, so far, I love the shampoo. So let's dig into this treatment mask now. Let me show you what this looks like. It's a very unique mask. Um, consistency. Oh my God, I'm trying to show this to you without spilling it onto the floor. That is what the consistency looks like. It's like very jelly-like and it is specifically a mask. Like it's not necessarily 
a deep conditioner, which is always gonna offer deep conditioning and lots of moisture and stuff. This is more focused on protein and more curl definition and curl elongation, and that's what it says. So I'm not doing the sections very small, keeping it pretty big since we're already detangled, and I'm just gonna go ahead and comb this through my curls. It feels really good. Like I said, I've used this once before after taking my hair out of a protective style and that was great. I liked it then. I was just kind of curious to see how it would work on a regular wash day. And I just, my favorite thing is the consistency. It literally feels like a really nice, juicy sort of gel and you can already feel like as you're applying it, it's defining the curls. Y'all know I typically don't use a brush after shampoo if I'm doing a wash and go, but since we're not doing a wash and go today, I'm switching it up a little bit. And y'all, look at this curl definition. Boom, that is actually sickening. Sickening! <laughs> I've been watching too much Patrick Star. Okay, so it says let's sit on here for five to 10 minutes. And then it does tell you that after you rinse it out, you need to go in with a deep conditioner afterwards. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave this in for about three more minutes, rinse it out, and then I'm gonna follow up with my regular deep conditioner. Okay, just rinse that out. My hair feels bad. Like it was feeling so good after the shampoo and then using that actually made my hair feel bad and I know it's not moisturizing. I know it's not meant to make your hair feel moisturized, but I feel like that kind of makes it a useless product Why I'm using it then, you know? I can get curl definition from a product that has protein and moisture, you know what I mean? I'm just, I think I'm actually realizing that I don't like products that are just strictly protein without any moisture because I feel like, especially for my hair, it just needs that moisture as well to balance it out because my hair, <laughs> feels like almost like knotted and it just feels dry. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. So I actually, I actually think I don't like that product now. <laughs> yeah, I, mm -mm. so I'm gonna go in with my regular deep conditioner. I'm gonna use this one. This is the Fekai Shea Butter. Are you, are you guys tired of hearing me talk about this yet? <laughs> I love it so much. And this one is almost done and this is my second jar of this stuff. Um, but it's the Fekai Shea Butter Intense Mask. It's what my hair needs every time for a good pick me up. My hair loves shea butter. So I'm hoping this brings us kind of back to life because yeah. <sighs> okay, my hair is feeling a little bit better. Adding my regular deep conditioner back into it. Still giving a little bit strawy vibes. I just feel like that was probably a little bit too protein heavy for me. It's not a balanced product. So that's probably why my hair is like eh too much, like what's going on? But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead, let my deep conditioner sit. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my body care and stuff in here, and then I'll meet y'all outside of the shower to try out that styling custard, because now I'm feeling a little nervous, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so here's how my hair is looking right now. Zero products, I fully washed out all of my deep conditioner and dried it a little bit in a microfiber towel and this is how we are looking. So I'm like excited and like a little bit nervous to jump into this curling custard, no, styling custard. It says for define and shine. So on the back it says, the custard is perfect for wet or dry ponytails, flat twists, braid outs, twist outs, and bantu knots because initially, when I saw the texture, I was like, oh my gosh, is this like a different type of gel? I was initially thinking like, oh, I'd be interested in seeing how this works for a wash and go. But then I saw that and I was like, all right, let me not use it for the wrong thing. It's not intended for that. So that's why we're going in with a twist out. But this is the consistency, super jelly-like. Ooh, let me not spill any. So this is it here. Very, very jelly-like, which is interesting because I've actually never done a twist out with a product that looks like this. I've always used creamy products. So interested, nervous, but excited. You know what? I think before we jump into that though, I kind of want to quickly use their scalp serum. I received this as well, so it's meant to invigorate and cool your scalp. I don't know, it just seems cool. Let's see what the texture is like. So it's like a nice lightweight gel type of um, consistency. Your typical scalp, ooh! It's your typical scalp consistency, but it smells like really pepperminty. Ooh, let's get this on my scalp. I love a good peppermint tingle on my scalp. Not that I feel like my scalp like super needs this or anything, but I just feel like it would feel good. <laughs> ooh yeah, there it is. There it is, that peppermint tingle. Mm. 
I like this. I like this solely for the fact that it feels good. It just feels good. I love a good peppermint tingle. Yes. Oh, yes. Y'all, my scalp just feels so good right now. Yes, I love that for me. Okay, cool. So we're starting with smaller sections mainly because right here is so short. So I'm kind of grouping all the different lengths of my hair because I have many lengths going on here. Um, my hair is, I would say, probably 80% dry. Still got a little bit of a little bit of dampness to it. Um, but because of the consistency of the styling custard, I think I am gonna go in with a little bit of leave-in conditioner. So this is the Fakai Shea Butter Curl Refresh Leave-In Spray. I'm gonna do a little bit, not a lot, but I wanna, I just wanna make sure, like especially after using that protein heavy mask, I just wanna make sure that we're offering some good moisture for my curls as well. All right, so just gonna start with this little section here. I'm actually not even sure how much or how little to use. It is a pretty small section here, so I'm just gonna use enough to saturate. Okay, so it feels really nice. Like, first impression in my curls, it feels good. It feels smoothing. It encourages curl definition. Please excuse my dog. Hershey, stop. No. There's nothing to stop here. What? I said Hershey. All right, there we go, our first little twist. Y'all seeing this shine like immediately? It's got some good shine going on there. I like that. Okay. All right, here we are, y'all, okay. My hair feels good, it feels smooth. I feel like at first I was kind of scared to use too much of the product, but as I got closer to the top and stuff, I was going in. I was going in with the product. You can see a little bit of whiteness, but it's kind of going away as it dries a little bit. And yeah, the, the twists are looking good. It's smooth, it is shiny, and I'm really, really excited to see how it comes out because my hair right now overall using that plus a little bit of the leave-in spray. It just feels really nice and moisturized and juicy. So I'm really excited to see how this twist out comes out, but I'm gonna let it dry overnight. So I will check back in with y'all tomorrow for the takedown and then we'll really get some final, final impressions on this third try of Pattern Beauty. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is the next day and it's time to take these twists out. I'm actually very, very, very excited. You can see the shine. There is like zero frizz as well. Like this really seems to have my hair all the way together. Like it's not frizzy, it doesn't feel dry. I don't know, we're really not gonna know until we take them out, so let's just go ahead and take them out. I'm actually gonna grab their jojoba oil blend and I'm just gonna add a couple of pumps and just kind of rub it through my palms. Boom, so I'm gonna use oily palms to take these twists down. Actually, I think I'm gonna start from the back because that's usually the easiest. And we will just lightly separate. You guys, my hair feels so good. It feels soft, it feels moisturized. I really hope this twist out actually looks like really good because all signs are there for it to be good, but it would just be the worst thing ever if I took it out and then it just looked like poop. Like, not a situation that I want right now. <laughs> oh, it feels good. One thing I noticed right now already, it doesn't feel sticky or anything. Like sometimes when you use like a heavy cream product, certain like coil, like certain cream products are just really heavy. So it'll leave your, your like a sticky cast on your fingers. I'm not really feeling much of that at all, so that's pretty good. things first, my hair feels really good. It feels nice and balanced. It doesn't feel like weighed down by heavy product or anything. So I really like that. 
Um, we have some insane curl definition and a good little level of shine going on here. So I am not mad at all. Y'all know me in volume though, so I'm still gonna kinda pump it up and just literally fluff and fluff and fluff to see how big we can get this. I, I love it. I love it! I think it is so pretty and it's offering, it, we got some volume up in here and I'm really happy about that because I've had twist outs before where my hair was just shrunk and then the more that I tried to like fluff it out, it would just kind of frizz out and it would just be a hot mess. But this was able to give me a good level of volume but still kind of hold the curls. Frizz is very, very, very minimal. So it's just looking really clean and really nice. My hair looks super healthy and just, wow. Like I, I love this styling custard. I love it so much that I am actually also curious to try it for a wash and go. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a video on that, like experimenting with the styling custard for a wash and go as well. But so far, it's definitely getting a pass for me for this twist out. And y'all, I just love a good twist out for a little switch up. You know, it just looks a little, a little different, you know? It's a different vibe and I, I'm here for it. This came out really cute. So, all in all, very happy that this was not a fail, thank God, because I gotta go out, like I said, and film some content right after this. Um, but yeah, so let's run through all of the products really quickly. I'm gonna give you like my final thoughts. So first, their clarifying shampoo. 12 out of 10 recommend. I loved it and I can't wait to try it again. My scalp has been feeling really good. Hair feels really good as well, which tells me it gave a good clean and it did not strip my hair either. So love that. And the transition mask, that was a fail for me because I just feel like that's not a product I need for my hair. I think the product itself works for what it's supposed to be. I just don't need that for my hair and I just don't like it. Like it felt good in my hair, but when I rinsed it out, my hair felt like straw. Oh yeah, and we also used that scalp serum. Maybe that's why my scalp is feeling so good. Like it just feels nice, like zero itching, like not even a little ooh, ooh, right here, nothing. So I actually really, really love this. So 12 out of 10 recommend. And we just talked about the styling custard, also 12 out of 10 recommend because that was Bomb. Not sure if I can recommend it for wash and goes yet, but maybe we can experiment with that together and find out. And then last but certainly not least, their jojoba oil blend that I just used. I mean, nothing super crazy about it. I didn't hate it. Just a normal oil that got the job done. So that's pretty good. How many products have we used? One, two, three, four, five. And we are four out of five. That is a pretty good score. Uh, much better than we have done in the past with patterns. So I'm excited. My hope has been restored. I'm also curious to maybe give their gels a try again. A lot has changed in my hair since the last time I used them. Like, it's shorter, so, you know, it's it's much easier for products to be successful in my hair right now, honestly. Um, techniques have changed. I actually haven't used Powder Beauty products since I started using shampoo, since I stopped using leave-in conditioners for my wash and goes, you know? So I'm wondering if maybe those couple of changes that I've made in my hair regimen might set me up for better success with their gels. I've been seeing so many other curly girls having success with it. And I know I tried them and I tried them again and I tried them, like I tried them multiple times. I don't know, we'll see. Comment below if you guys would be interested in seeing a little bit more of this content. I do love the fact that, of course, obviously, it's owned by Tracy Ellis Ross. That's awesome. She's an amazing human being. It's black, female owned, so we stand for that. And so, yeah, I'm excited that I have actually finally found some pattern beauty products that work for me. Can we just like one more time real quick just look at the curl definition? Insane. But yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I am off to tackle the rest of my day. So I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.